Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Brick It. Today is a very exciting day as we revisit our LEGO Brick Tales adventure. So basically this is going to be episode 2 of our LEGO Brick Tales. Um, last we left off, I believe we were in yeah the jungle section. We just finished the introduction and now we're off to the jungle. And here we are. Okay, cutscene. I don't think we've explored the jungle at all, so this is going to be quite exciting to do. Let's see. Rusty. Oh no, do you see that? The small plane crash landed somewhere in the mountains right before us. Right. I can see parachutes opening. I hope everyone's okay. We have to go help those people right away. Alrighty. So, uh, I'm a bit rusty with the controls, but let's see what we can do. Um, let's take a little look. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm always going to be amazed over this beautiful, fantastic landscape right here. Got little hidden passageways. Yeah, so all that, all good. Um, yeah, we're going to, I guess, get straight into it. It's going to be a build. Okay. All right, now, so basically for this first build on the jungle, we're gonna building, we're going to be building some stairs. Just simple stairs. Hmm basically layering brick over brick. Some of them are just the 3x3 three three plates flat and some of them are double stacked so not sure how they're gonna fare but I hope it's stable enough. I think that's all we need basically. Oops misaligned one more plate there and let's see. Beautiful. That's all we need. Perfect. Yeah so we're done with that. All right so immediately after the stairs. Beautiful staircase. Yeah <laughs> as I say. Um, immediately to the next bridge for a canopy walk. Alright, so for our first canopy walk, um, my strategy is basically to try and connect the long plates, the two by sixes, all the way till the end and have the two by two plates try to act like sort of a foundation for that. So here we go, we're just gonna stack them up, layer them side by side and just drag them all the way till the end to form a bridge. We'll see how that goes. A little bit of discoloration there, so you're gonna change it to make it more aesthetical. And then the idea behind putting these brown plates is basically to try and also stabilize the top section. And we'll see how that goes and test it out. Oh, well it turns out the foundation below does not support the bridge. So it's not strong enough. That is why we need to basically reinvent the bridge structure. So we're just going to start by taking everything off. But first, I forgot how to do that. So I'm just going to check quickly on the controls. All right, right there. It's right click. So I'm going to right click everything right now. Just try to think about another way how to get a better foundation. Now my, now my strategy is to try and put the 1x6, pale color 1x6 to act as sort of the foundation this time instead of the 2x2 plate. Okay, so we're gonna go start with the 1x6. After adding the 2x6, we're gonna have the 1x6 below. And I believe this will be a much stronger structure for the bridge. And we'll see how it goes. All the way till the end. And we were lacking one extra piece of the 2x6, which is kind of annoying. So we're basically going to have to stretch our pieces with what we have to somehow incorporate the 2x2 two two plates. And just shuffling the 1x6 plates further deeper. And now we can accommodate for the... 2x2 two two plates. Now just the same thing to add more rigidity on the top as well. Hopefully this time the bridge will hold up. And done. And let's see. Perfect. Now this time it works. Beautiful. It's not the most aesthetic bridge but you know it works. Rusty, that's a solid bridge. Do you want to be more creative? All right, let's see what that means. Okay, so we can rebuild the canopy walk. Don't necessarily want to do that, but... Oh, okay, the sandbox mode. 
Alrighty. So sandbox mode, I guess unlimited number of bricks. <laughs> now I can finally change the annoying different plates and bricks so I can put an additional 2x6 instead of just, you know, not using them. I'd rather use them. Alright, so shuffling them aside, I'm going to put the 2x6 to replace. And then she's going to replace all the brown plates on top to make them the same. And to just get a little bit slightly more creative, going to add some additional bricks from the sandbox mode. Just for aesthetic and decorative purposes, that's all. Make some pillars. And on the other side as well. Copy there. Gonna add this element there. Alright. And let's see. I'm gonna put the bar on top of this. Kinda tricky, but it works. And there we go. Perfect. So it still works and it just looks slightly better. Um alright. Check out the bridge. Perfect. I'm gonna go keep on exploring the jungle. Alright, nothing much to do here. But first, I actually want to change how, the appearance of my character. I'm try to change the hairstyle and whatever torso and legs we have. That's a nice hair piece there. Gonna stick with the one before. Yeah, this one right here. Oh. We choose the right clothing. Think for the jungle exploration. Oh, didn't work. We gotta click wear. And for the feet as well. Maybe fix the hair first. With the one before. I just wanna look like a, you know, a jungle explorer. And explorer. There we go. Get a bit of scuff marks on the cheek. Perfect. Right on. Nah, I think that one's better. Yep. We're gonna go continue the jungle adventure. So basically, I guess nothing much to do here. We're just gonna follow this arrow. It says travel north. So let's do that. Oh, okay. So she's trapped up there. She needs assistance. Something about the Paleogolithic era statue. Okay, so she's trapped. No need to worry. We'll have you down quicker. All right. We're gonna just try and rescue the archaeologist, I guess. That's the weird statue that she was talking about. Now up the stairs we go. Oh, right, wait. Okay, Rusty stops us there. Platform is too unstable. All right, so we're gonna just have to maneuver ourselves and build ourselves a new platform, I see. So, all right, so basically this platform here, we've got a floating flat platform on the top. And I guess we're supposed to make the foundations for it. Basically some legs. On both sides to try and keep it stable so it doesn't fall off once we get on the platform later on so here since the pieces are quite strange and limited I'm just trying to make it as you know aesthetic and functional as possible trying to make them symmetrical you know it would have been simpler if they just given us just some one by one bricks or two by one bricks that would be simple and easy but since we uh, get got some sort of sloped and angle bricks gonna make do with what we have and i think here i'm having some sort of issue because the right side of the platform is currently blinking red meaning it's not technically connected and right there i'm missing sort of a one by three plate or one by two plate which i don't have access to so I guess, in this case, I'm just going to have to maneuver and try and pivot everything on the left side only. It's going to be quite the challenge to try and make it balanced and structurally sound without tipping it over. Since we're only hinging it on one side, so here we go. A bit of tinkering and I think I can expand the platform below a little bit to make it more structurally sound. Let's see, put some more, one by one bricks there, just to close the gap even further, 
at this point I'm not really bothered about aesthetics since you know it's not gonna be symmetrical anyways but let's see I think this can work somehow somewhat it's kind of hard to get precision in this game because the mouse controls are quite sensitive to where I'm hovering or highlighting so yeah this is a definitely a very fun yet challenging build let's see now come on there you go let's see if that holds gotta wait some time perfect and it holds so there you have it, my little support for the canopy. I guess now we can finally rescue, but first, this very peculiar chameleon. Okay, so I guess my suspicions were true. All the animals here, you are able to collect them. I saw this ladybug over here before. Well, first of all, let's see about this knob right here. Nope. Yeah, right here, this ladybug. Can't seem to get past through it, so I guess... We're not meant to have it by now. Anyways, I'm gonna rescue the archaeologist now. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. This place is amazing. Yep, hardly been here five minutes. Uh huh. Alrighty. My sensors detect life forms. Ah, uh, right. So basically, after the plane crash, we're gonna rescue all the members from the aircraft. But the archaeologist, I'm guessing. There should be a pilot and a co-pilot, or something like that. Alright, so she gave us a whip, so we can swing. Ooh, interesting. So there are some mechanics that you can do in this game. Not just building and exploring, but... So far we can do swinging as well. So let's try that out. We've got the whip icon on the right there. And... Let's see, so this one... Use whip. Okay! Beautiful. So I guess we don't climb things, we just whip through things. And here I'm just exploring, trying to look for secret passageways if there are any. But anyways, I'm just amazed at the build. I'm just amazed at the environment. So now into this dark cave we go. Looks oddly familiar. Well, let's see what it has to offer us. Whoa, so basically a mountaintop. Alright, so it, a map within a map. That's interesting. Oh, we've got this bamboo stuff blocking us. So I guess head back down. I'm gonna traverse to this middle section here. Alien technology. I was lost in space, I met them. Upgrade myself. Ah, okay. So we can collect alien technology? Let's see what that has to offer. Alright, interact. Okay, so we're upgrading Rusty. Alright. You feel strong now, alright. Let's see what... We could do with this new ability. Okay, that was creepy. A weird platform just appears. Okay. By pressing shift, somehow we are able to do a ground smash. Oh, interesting. Can we do it on this place here? Nope. Where are we meant to smash the ground? Maybe here? That felt great. Let's find something to smash. Ah, oh, I'm guessing the vines. Yeah. So let's go up. Okay, you got vines here. Boom. Beautiful. That worked perfectly. Smash this one too. Shall we? Yep. And we'll make our way around. Hmm, I guess those trees doesn't work only for the bamboo vines or the vines. Okay, so we're going on the edge. Let me go down some ladders. Got another vine blocking us. Easy. So I'm guessing the game, as we progress, we will get more and more abilities that Rusty will allow us to get. So this time is smashing to the ground to destroy some vines. Yeah, as I suspected, only works on the vines. Okay, so just on the way through. Here we go. Another time. And another time. Perfect. And what's over here? Alright, we've got a treasure chest right here. I'm gonna open them up. Let's see what it gives us. Okay. You've got 50 bananas. 
I wonder what we can use bananas for. And not just one, but 50 of them. Let's see. Alright then, we're just gonna go back out of the cave. Since we got that new ability now, I think we can finally get the ladybug, I think. It was blocked by some vines. If I'm, mistake if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and this one too. These are vines as well. Perfect. Alright, so here we go. Unlock you, ladybird. Ladybug. Oh, it's not a ladybug. It's a hermit crab. Alright, so it is a hermit crab. I'm pretty sure I saw a ladybug earlier. Okay. Anyways, interact with this. Okay, so hold the mouse button to circle around. And... Unlocked a sort of a platform. Got this weird man here. Passion biologist. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, so he's observing animals. Study fancy animals, especially chameleons. Okay, so I've got one chameleon. Oh, so he's asking for 20 chameleons. Wow, I only found one. I'm guessing we'll have to revisit, but first, to build the monkey statue. Okay, so I guess the build this time is basically to replicate the monkey statue shown on the left. Um, yeah, so let's start with the back side. Oh, actually, front first and then the back. And then I'm guessing the arms and the torso. Finally, the mouth and the head. And that's it. Monkey statue done. What else can we do? Guess we can't climb, we can't whip over there. And what else can we do? Nope, can't unlock that. Oh, I see a bird. Alright, we are collecting birds, chameleons, hermit crabs. I'm guessing ladybugs too. Oh, okay. We're gonna turn the monkey statue, make them aligned. And it unlocks a door. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go back in the depths of the mountains again. What will we find now? Okay. I'm guessing we're still looking for survivors. Let's use the ladder. What is this? Nope, that didn't work. Let's go and do some exploring. Oh, camera angle doesn't want to change. I'm guessing, I guess we can't go there. Up the ladder we go. And... Well, let's explore first. Look at this secret path. Where are we going? Oh, another vine I can smash. Perfect. Alright. And now... Not sure where to go, to be honest. I guess... Back up. I'm guessing if we want to get 100% completion, we would have to revisit places again after unlocking certain abilities or items. So what do we have here? A weird piece down there and a glowing pile of gold bricks there. Nope. Doesn't work. What about this one? What do we do? Build. Improvise a stairway onto the hill. Oh, so it's a start it's a side stairway. Okay, so from the left we have to somehow maneuver it all the way through the right side to the top. It's gonna be an interesting one. I'm guessing we can start off with the one by fours. And now I just realized we probably don't have enough one by fours for the rest of the entryways. Yeah, so I'm guessing not. Let's start with a two by four then. Got more of those. Now with the big plates. The 4x6s. And now allocate all the 1x4s to the empty slots. And get cracking. Just to make it aesthetic, put some plates there. So they're like, you know. It's not breaking. Let's see if this works. Oop. Gotta connect another piece up there. I'm actually enjoying this so far. 
all the builds have been really interesting. Challenges your mind to try and figure out things for the first time. Let's see if the robot can get up this platform. Ah, so it's too tall. Gonna have to redesign this. Let's see, take them apart. Maybe shuffle more plates in, make them shorter. I think that's it. I think this will work. Looks sort of like a makeshift staircase. Just gonna make it look aesthetic. Oh, we've got the nice small snot bricks there. There you go. That looks nice. Gonna put some more here. And voila. Perfect. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful and functional. That's what we want. Okay, so we made it up the hill. And should I go right? Or nah. Maybe let's see what's inside this weird purple glowing shack thing. All right. Ooh. Oh, hello there. I'm Boo, business goes extraordinaire. Please have a look at my wares. Clothing items for your wardrobe, perfect. And we have colors for sandbox mode. Okay. How much do these cost? Ah, I see. So they cost bananas. Let's see, I wanna buy that. Definitely. I'm gonna change my pants to explorer pants. Yeah, boy. Let's get him. All right. So basically, he's just a shop seller. And the bananas we can col we collected, we can use for aesthetics to improve our costumes. There you go. Explorer pants put on. And I think I want to get those aviator helmet. Nah, I prefer the aviator helmet. Perfect. Do I have enough money for the explorer jacket? Nope. I'm two bananas short. I guess I have to get more bananas then. Hmm, first, let's change and wear my aviator helmet. Nice. I'm looking more and more like an explorer now. Okay. Hmm, let's see how much these pieces cost. 15 for that. A hundred bananas for jungle bricks. Whoa. Okay, now that I've looked more like an explorer, we can continue. Travel east. Ah, there you go. Another person. So it's a reporter this time. So he's got he got stuck on the parachute. All right, let's go. Oh, what's this? Airplane parts lying around. Okay, we need a propeller. So I'm guessing zero out of two. We're meant to collect items first before we can do the build. Okay, so let's get this propeller out of the way. Alright, and now thwip up and get the seat. Nice. So that's a nice way of integrating finding items there before the build happens. Now let's start with the build. So here, we've got to build some sort of helicopter, gyrocopter, whatever it's called. With the parts given. Okay. That's an odd leaf thing there. Huh. Why would they provide that for us? Anyways, let's put the base dark blue plates. And let's make a tall pillar, two tall pillars to support the propeller later on. Yes, my pilot fits there. Let's see if I can put a brick back. Nope. Not seem to fit. I guess it's because of the chair. So now, I'm gonna figure out how to mount the propeller on top. Let's put those bricks there. Maybe create another platform on top. That looks more like it. Maybe I can fit the plants there for aesthetic reasons. I don't know what for, to be honest, but. They just look pretty cool. Now using this bricks to support the propeller. I think I need it slightly higher. Oh, and the propeller is hovering above the box. Darn, I think that means I can't fit the plants. Yep, 
No plants for this one then. No, it can't fit anymore. So that's the cap for the box. So I guess I'm just gonna have to do with the propellers there. Now, put some red lights back and yellow lights in the front. And it works. Wow. Hmm. Just make it a bit more aesthetic. Put some plates. And some decorative pieces. And there we go. We built ourselves a gyrocopter. Alright, perfect. That works. We can interact with it. Whoa. And fly up. Perfect. So basically, rescue this guy. There you go. Thanks for getting me down, but you've got to... Okay. Oh. Alright, so basically he really wants to go home. So now we've got the... Um, explorer. We've got the archaeologist and the reporter. We're just missing the pilot, basically. Unless there are more people. Let's collect this one. It's a bunny. The rabbit. Can we collect the bird, too? This parrot macaw thing? I guess not. Alright then. I guess... Do I still need to build that? Nah, I think we can just interact with it. Or... Do we need to interact? Maybe just go down the stairs. Oh, we got more bricks to smash here. Nope, can't go down there. Ah, there we go. Found another ladybug. I think I've got to collect the ladybug in the previous map. I mean, in the beginning of the jungle map. And that's it, I guess. Smash some more trees. That plane there. Hmm. Do, we, do you reckon we can get something from the plane? Or is this there aesthetically? I don't think we can track. Oh, wait. We got a chest right here. Huzzah! More bananas. There you go. So I practically can get my um, explorer torso thing, but maybe later. All right. What now? Okay. So basically, he's whinging about not being able to go home because he's stuck. There's basically no path. Okay, so what can we do for this guy? Guess we're gonna build another bridge? A walkway? Alright, let's build the walkway. Oh, okay, so we're basically connecting from point A to point B on an angle. On a 90 degree angle, like an L shape. So I guess we can just start by stacking the bricks. Hang on a minute. I'm missing like one by one brick. Hmm. Yes, can we just put a plate? I mean, hope it's stable enough to support the bridge. That's unfortunate, but it works with the plate, I guess. Alright, now for the other section. Gonna build the legs first. Need to make it taller, but we only got four one by one bricks left. Just gonna make do with this. We need them for the last one as well. Does that work there? Okay, so that sort of works. Now to build a connection between them. Gonna have to make it slightly taller. I guess plate them up again. Does that work now? Um, I'm, I guess it sort of works. Not the most even of platforms, but hey. If it works, it works. Just gonna fill up the gaps. It's not gonna be pretty. I guess I can fix them after. Let's see. If I replace that with that. Can I put that there? Am I missing any connections? Ah, one more. Two by one. And it works! Alright, now just to make it 
look more presentable. I'm gonna snot it all up. Best I can. That looks nicer already. Can we shovel this around? There we go. Maybe, oops. Maybe this way will look slightly better. Um, just doing some sort of rearranging before we go forward. I don't know, it just makes it look better. Oh, darn it, I'm missing one. Okay. Does that work? I guess that works better. Oops. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Now, the report is all good and safe on the other side. Bridge and walkway. I mean, the walkway looks beautiful. What now? Now he needs to get down the cliff. So I guess something to do with that line over there. I guess, like the bird, and we're gonna help him out. No build button, so maybe just talk with this guy first. Okay, so there you go. Rusty's gonna try to handle it. Nope, he's asking if he can fly. Definitely not. So maybe we can use this zip line. There you go, finally. We can start by building a zip line. All right, so let's get building. For the zip line, huh? So we have to somehow attach these pieces to that two by two plate on top. Can we start with the base? Maybe not. I'm gonna be starting off with the top. Oh gosh, it's quite hard to get it in the right spot. Come on. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh no, that's better. And let's see, how do we get a stable enough platform for this zip line? I guess I can do that. I'm not sure if it will hold, but hopefully it does. Now they're on the same level. We're just gonna have to maneuver ourselves using this ang these angled pieces. That'll be perfect. Oh man, we only have four of these, so that means we have to split them. And now these slope 2x2s don't, won't fit. Guess we have to figure another way, unless this could work. Mm, no, I don't see it working too well, to be honest. So I guess we just gotta put them next to each other. And now we're gonna work through our way from the top. Need halfway through the bottom. And we'll see if we can make this zip line. I'm not particularly bothered with the aesthetics anymore. Just hoping that it will be functional enough to carry this pilot all the way down. Hmm. Does that mean he needs another? Let's see. Take him off. Much better. Much more space for his arms. So I guess we can't do it that way. We have to do this. And then somehow use this yellow bricks to attach. To join the sections together. Give them a bigger platform on the front. Does that work? Yeah, I guess that works. And let's test it out. Wait some time. Perfect. Now I want to mess with the aesthetics a bit. Just to make it have more color. I think that looks fine by now. And beautiful. Zip line works. Now have I solved all your problems? Oh look, another hermit crab by the right there. Does that mean darn. Does that mean I can't get it? Wait, let me try one more time. On the way back up. Click on the hermit crab. Nope. Did not work. So how am I supposed to get the hermit crab? Hmm, maybe on my next visit to the jungle. I guess I can't get it by now. Okay, so pilot is done. Oh, we got another hermit crab down here. I guess we're going to collect him now. So archaeologist is down there. 
pallets down there. But first, let's take this side section here. Let's see what we can find. Nope. Cannot interact with that purple brick there. Ooh, look at this. Secret spot. Maybe another chest. Maybe some more bananas. Who knows? Now this I can break. Alright. As expected, another chest with... Bananas again. Another 10 bananas. Okay. So definitely enough to get... Costume... Um, changes. But okay, so we're done with the pilot. We're done with the archaeo... Oh no, we're not done with the pilot. We're done with the reporter. We're done with the archaeologist. We're just missing the pilot, I presume. Let's see what we can do down here. Oh, how am I going to be trapped inside this mountain? So that's where the pilot probably is. Mountain spirit? No, it's no mountain spirits. A tumble from the skies. <laughs> How terrible! Of course not, it's me, the pilot. There you go. So that's the pilot inside that stone head. Look at how the water flows down. Quite interesting. Oh, archaeologist lady found something. Ah, she placed a little micro scale figure and it unlocked the door. Okay, so I'm guessing we're supposed to follow her, but. I kind of want to explore the map around here first. Interact with any of these? Nope. Doesn't seem likely. Talk to this guy. And he just wants to go home. This pile of golden bricks. Nope. Nothing. This section here. Maybe it leads us somewhere. Let's see. Up to the top. Another chest. Let me guess. More bananas. Of course, another 10. And nowhere to go. So, yes, back down. Hmm. What about on this left section here? Okay, I can break this part. I see another chest there, so maybe that's another place to go to. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but yeah, I guess that just unlocks the way back to the first spot. Anything in this platform? Nope, just admiring the scenery. All right, I guess we're going inside the, the cave again, the mountain again. Let's see what challenges lie ahead. We get past the door, some kind of ancient mechanism. Okay, we got a build here. Solve the door mechanism. Or, we can try this first. Interact. Okay, turning the monkey. Okay, and... Huh. Maybe I need to turn it more? Okay, that's max. Oh, so the monkey's tail gets sudden sort of reflecting thingy. Okay, so the light beam needs to hit the jewel. I see, so we're gonna make the monkey tail, basically. Start with that. Let's start with that. Why, oh, that's a valid... That's a valid connection. I wonder why it's highlighted in red. Doesn't seem to... Ah, I see the problem. So it's gonna have to turn. The monkey statue's gonna have to turn. That means we're gonna have to elevate this platform slightly higher. All right, that works. So this height is, oh, nope, that's a bit too long. Let's make it a bit shorter. Come on, get on there. All right, that works. So now to get over that bend, I wonder how. Does that work if I just stack up two pieces? Oh, it crashed, I guess. Ah, the, I need to move it over the side. All right, it works. Just make. Go to the right. Jewel. No. That was close. Maybe now. Beautiful. That hits. Okay. So the two jewels got lit up. And unlocked another door. Okay. So another section. I guess we follow. Nothing much to do here, right? Yeah. I guess we follow. Travel north. And 
And there we have it. We found the pilot. She seems to be in rather distressing conditions. Hang on a minute, she's got an aviator helmet and some bruising on her face. That's me! No, it's not. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to rescue the pilot somehow, maybe build a contraption. Hmm, what's this section here? Ooh. I like exploring these sites. Oh, huh, what's this machine here? Maybe smash? Nope. Nothing works for that thing. Okay, I found some stairs here. Maybe another banana filled treasure chest. Let's see. Oh, it's actually another path to go somewhere else. Let's see now. Should I just rescue her or... Hmm. Let's see. Exit. Huh. So maybe there's still some unexplored places. Anyways, let's rescue this person. Okay. She just followed along and jumped. Alright. Oh. It's rumbling. Something's shaking. An earthquake. Ah, it's a rushing waterfall. These are being spat out. Yep. Right outside. What? <laughs> and I just plopped out. Okay. So... Gotta talk to the archaeologist. And she's just... Happy to be out of danger. And... If I remember correctly, if we successfully made someone happy, we get... What do we get? We get a happiness crystal. There you go. Exactly what we wanted. So basically, there you go. We've got a happiness crystal to help Grandpa's amusement park. Somehow that will power the amusement park, so... I guess we're off. Okay, so we're out of the portal, out of the jungle. Back to Grandpa's amusement park. And now. Rise, I'm over here. Mm-hmm. Let's power the transformation device. Okay. So I guess we can power it using the happiness crystal. Let's see what happens. Okay, some magic things. Okay, removed all the dirt. Okay. So basically. Wow. We get to have our own attraction. Oh my goodness three build spots. I'm gonna probably save that for the next time. 46% completed, story is 100%, and the rest are just chest shops and animals. Okay, so basically, probably gonna do another visit in the jungle. But I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna keep the builds for the next episode, or maybe we'll continue on to different parts. Maybe we'll go to a winter wonderland, hopefully. But yeah, that's it for now guys, so if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, maybe even leave a, leave a comment down below, and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, this is Just Brickit, and I'll see you on the next one.